best gift? Sacred. You know, I always say it's secret, but it's sacred. I just know we said, hey, Purpose. How you doing, Purpose? How you doing? Thank you for passing through, babe. <laughs> I'm about to open up some coconuts and make me some um, coconut water in a gallon. I, got, I like to just, when I go to the store, I just come home and... Just get it over with. I, I was up all night squeezing oranges and grapefruit and key lime. So today, I'm going to be busting open some coconuts. So this why I don't be live as often as you could do purpose. <laughs> oh, you come in? I need Arizona. Oh, that's cool. I'm doing a retreat. I, I think I'm shooting for maybe, maybe September out here to Sedona. A retreat to Sedona, Arizona. Mindfulness. I'll keep you in the loop. I think you'll be really good. Um, a good person to come and join. And maybe, maybe even speak or something. We gotta, I gotta talk to you. I gotta reach out to you about that. Because I'm um, planning now. But I, well, what you coming out here for? You, you about to move out here? That'll be cool. <laughs> How's the weather in April? April is beautiful out here. It's nice and cool. You got a nice breeze. It's cool out there now. It's like um, today is right now. It's like in the 60s. The summertime is when they get over 100. The summertime, like June, July, August. Those months there, you got to be ready. You got you to gotta really love the sun in those months. Oh, you speaking of anything out here? Oh, okay. That's what's up. Y'all going to post it live? Let me know where is that. Could I come? Is it near Sedona? <laughs> if it's near Sedona, I could come. Oh, you gotta, you gotta be for the um for the something that you posted online that I probably didn't pay attention to because I can't. It, it'd be hard for me to. I try to support other people. I try to go to people's lives. I come to yours sometimes, but it'd be hard for me to catch everything. It'd be hard. You're beautiful. Oh, it's a wellness conversation. Okay. I wasn't invited to that one, but it sounds beautiful. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. We got to connect. I didn't know you come out here. We got to connect. Maybe next time you come out, we could get together and network. But I wish you the best. Well, I won't say wish you the best. I know you're going to be good. I know it's going to work out perfectly for you. For the greater good of everybody that's gonna be there too. That sounds beautiful. That sounds really, really beautiful. I should have got my bigger. I'll be seeing you on there juicing and doing your little herbal thing. Hey, thoughts over thoughts. Hey, Sassy, 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 every time I see that name, I think Sassy Jones, Sassy Jones, what's going on today, y'all? I got my work cut out for me with these coconuts, I bought so many, I, I just rather get it over with, buy them all and do this all at one time. Flashed in my face. In my face. In my face. Those of y'all that follow me one day, look, I'm 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 uploading stuff in y'all subconscious mind. Y'all gonna get y'all coconut. Y'all gonna get reap these benefits. Y'all gonna get so tired of me talking about coconut water and coconut oil that y'all gonna try this one day. Watch. Watch. I'm programming. I'm helping program your subconscious mind right now while you're watching me. Mm-hmm. 
Your subconscious mind think that you 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 opening up a coconut water for yourself. <laughs> you don't know if you experience this thing right now, or you just watching me. But nonetheless, they so good for you. I'm actually preparing this for somebody. I'm preparing this for somebody. For those of you who um who thinking about placing an order on my website. Do so before, before Sunday, because my website going to be closed for a minute. It's going to be closed for a minute, so I'm letting you know if you're thinking about it. That Power Within Transformation course, where I have all of my how-to videos, that's been selling a lot. How to grocery shop, how to cleanse your organs, how to... Meditate. How to um, read and be aware of harmful ingredients. That's for when I first started in my journey. So when you see me, me on them videos, I'm probably going to be like a size 2. Because that's when I first stopped eating meat and stuff. Those videos are helpful. I thought I was leaving them behind but for my family. You know, the ones that wasn't ready. But I ended up opening it up to everybody, to the masses. So now I'm leaving it for you, for you to be in a better position. But on Sunday, it's gonna be closed because, because I'm planning for some, some other things. So I'm gonna have to close the website for a minute. While I do some other things and get my, my time back because I'm the creator. Get out of here. I'm the creator of those products. I hand make all of that stuff that's on my website. I ship it all. You know, I have my family that are helping when orders get really, really plentiful, but I really like keeping my hands on everything because it's my creation, it's my energy. And I understand that energy is not neither created nor destroyed. It's simply transformed. Much gratitude. Yeah. How do you keep your weight carousse by doing this here kind of stuff here? I keep it because I don't have cravings. To, I don't like sugar, to be honest with you. So I don't crave for sugar. I, you know, I've already done parasite cleanses and stuff, so... That's when you be craving, when you got them parasites. But the thing that helped me most with my weight is coconut oil. Because when I first lost my weight, I went down to a zero, but I refused to buy a zero in clothes. I first lost all of my weight by leaving carbs and meat alone. And the weight just fell off of me like overnight. I was losing everything, my booty. My boobs, everything. I just had it looked like a little bobble head, like right. But I didn't know how to balance it because I was new to being a vegan. And I started consuming coconut oil. And that helps me, you know, gain my weight because that was my amino acids that I was missing out on. That was my healthy, my healthy fats. And so I started consuming coconut oil. And then I didn't really realize also, but it's anti-parasitic coconut oil. And so I would consume like three um, teaspoons of coconut oil a day. And I started to feel back out because I got to a point where I was like, look, I ain't about to buy no zero. And I ain't about to be um, in the kids section. You know, I'm too old for having little butterflies. I mean, butterflies are cool. There's little rainbows on everything that I own. I was like, no, we're going to grow up. We ain't going over there by the kids. We're going to fix this here. And so that's how I started gaining healthy weight because I incorporated my healthy fats. And that's how I, I you know, I kind of keep that balance, you know. I'm serious. You laughing, but I'm so serious. <laughs> that was flashy. I need to give me some little goggles for this year. So yeah, that's how I did it. Coconut oil. That's why I talk about coconut oil so much. I'm obsessed. Coconut oil. The people, these bakers, they need to send me a check. <laughs> but this is a natural one. I still 
I still think I need to be partnered with one of the coconut oil brands. Best, if you out there, best coconut, call me. Call me. I got the people coming. You need to call me, best. <laughs> yeah, I always promote coconut oil, coconut water. So, yeah, I'm making this for somebody. And if I have, after I make this here, I'm going to put some other citrus type fruits in it for electrolytes and things like that there. One of my supporters talk, told me about this cool coconut tool kit that I have now. I was really very dangerous, even though they still slash a little bit. I was way more dangerous with this here coconut opening process than I am now. <laughs> I'll send you my number. Yeah, okay. Do that. Do that. So we could connect some kind of way. Because if you go already be here, and then I'm doing a retreat down here, then you could circle back for mine, for my retreat. I want to do like, I don't know if you, I know you're into health and wellness and all, but I want to do like mindfulness, like meditation, um, ex exercises, the Tibetan bowls, like sound energy is what I'm talking about when I say Tibetan bowls. I want to try to have uh, vegan food there. I want to go hiking. I want to be in the heart of Sedona where the elevation is thousands of feet high. That really, really help your environment. Really, really helps with your mindfulness. So that's where I want to be. And so I, we could, you know, go bike riding and just do fun things for maybe at least four days. I don't want to make it too, too long or too short to where we're so tired. So I've been networking with people out there in Sedona that's in the area that I really enjoy. coming up with a plan so yeah i look forward to hearing from you with the number and stuff and i'll give you a call i'll give you a call but yeah i'm about to be taking a break from um but i'm gonna call you though but i'm taking a break from tiktok and from my page after sunday because i got some some business that i need to focus on some clients i need to really deeply focus on <laughs> It's my baby right here, you know, my products and everything. That's my baby, and I do that. So I just want my energy to be focused. Oh, I'm wasting it on the floor, y'all. I want my energy to be focused, so I got to I gotta check out for a little bit. Hi, Trish. Hey. Hey. From New Jersey. Hi, Trish from New Jersey. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing that. What's it like in New Jersey? I've never been out there. Ooh, it almost about to make a gallon. That's beautiful. I'm taking a break until April. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You want a break break. <laughs> you want a break break. Sounds amazing. Yeah. I love my bowl. Oh, you have a bowl too? Okay. Good. I didn't know that. See, I never caught that side of you. Hey, uh, Grand Goddess. You give so much. Yeah. Can I come in the box? Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Now, I don't know how to work all of that kind of stuff. Wait, I got to do something? You got to ask me? Wait, now. What I got to do? Let me see. Interact? Maybe I got to press that. Interact? No. Host? Hmm. Wait, guess? I see this thing, guess. Go live. Okay, wait. Oh, here we go. I must not have been paying attention. Button. There you go. You got. It. Hey, I, did it. <laughs> I don't know how to do all of that. How you doing today? I'm doing amazing. I'm up here. I was taking my nap. I have. When I tell you, I have. I have a small bowl I use every day, but uh -huh. I'm I'm about to get, and I, I I'm I don't want to get it from Amazon. I actually want to get it from someone, because. <laughs> I went to the Omega Institute and 
they had the sound bowl there and they had a class and I took a class there. It's absolutely amazing. It um, is. So I want to get the complete set because I'm mm -hmm. I'm redoing my house. So I'm actually going to have a Zen room downstairs. So Ooh. doing everything. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to get that done. I want to get everything done before speaking and everything pick up. I'm actually going to, I'm, Hopefully, we're in talks now to speak at a wellness convention in Arizona. And a good okay. friend of mine is having, so I don't want to jinx it, but he's trying to host it and he's trying to get into the wellness space, so I want to help him. Right. That sounds amazing. Keep so, me posted on that because I want to, that's what I'm about to do, purchase me a collection. I, I've been seeing, I'm not Amazon, but also on Etsy, ETS. Why they have a lot of cool collections over there, but that's what I want to do: sound healing, like for uh, the tuning forks and the big bowls that correlate with each chakra in your body. Oh man! If if you ever get a chance to go to a class, go to one. And I love, okay. even though Omega Institute is a little bit pricey, you know, it's upstate New York. It's a little bit mm -hmm. pricey. I went up there. To, I went up there uh, for my intimacy class. I took an intimacy course. Up there. Best money ever okay. spent. Best really? Money ever spent. Yeah. When I did my when I when I wanted to heal myself on a lot of stuff, not just health wise, but just emotional wise, I erased the thing, you know. And I said I want to improve everything. So because I grew up in the hood, was so I couldn't figure this out. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm missing something. So yeah. My thought process was intimacy, was you obviously know, you know. So I said, I needed to figure this out. So they had a class for a mm -hmm. three day retreat on intimacy, right? And not okay. just, you know, with the romance and the cardio part, but right. everything. And when I'm telling yeah. you that was well money spent, I tell anybody, if you ever get that class, it yeah. teaches you how to connect. And when you connect, it, when I came back, you you you're not gonna be the same. It teaches yeah. you everything about how to be intimate, not with just your partner, but yourself. You know how to love on yourself, how to be able to correctly express yourself freely. And it was crazy. And um, Kevin Gates actually took that course. Really? I think a couple of year, a year after me, or two years after me, and he was talking mm -hmm. about. Right. And it's, it's free. It's freely. It's, I mean, it makes you, it's not, it's not free, but it makes you feel right. Well, I get this, you know what I'm saying? And I tell men this man to stop living these shackles and feeling these chains, man. You know, that's why I don't like really talking about relationships because I just think people are corny with it. Cause it's too Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. It's too much. <laughs> too much. It's too much. It's, it's too much. And so I, I try to help people, but it, it gets, it's just too much to me. You can't keep, you can't possibly be that struggling every day where this is a feedback loop you on. So, yeah. and I got yeah. my partner, I'm I'm working with my homeboy. I got him on a castor oil uh, detox and he mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Mad at yeah, me. castor oil helps with circulation in the body. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it will you gonna you go get your whole bowel clean by the end of the night. So you would. You, you would. Know. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I want to tell you before I get off here, I'm all over the place because I'm tired. But okay. I want to say you're doing one of the most amazing jobs out here, just spreading wellness in a right way, in a positive way, not just for my people, our people, but for all people. I you know, I don't rock with that all that separation shit. But right, right. I, I, I'm so proud of you. I, I, I tune in every time because I learned something and you're teaching you so much. things. I'm right. proud of you. That that means a lot coming from you because pr I'm proud of you too. And I'll be trying to tune into your channel when oh, I can. I, Beautiful. I'm no man. I'm just a man. It, it, and like I say, <laughs> it's, it, and if you ever you need me, just call me, man. I'll be there. And just let me know. Just say, hey, Joe, get your butt up here or down, well, yeah. side of here. <laughs> and I'll be there. 
Obviously, yeah, you're doing job, man. You're doing amazing, wonderful things, man. Wonderful Thank things. You. Thank and, you. And yeah, it's... don't forget to send me that number because I need to reach out to you so we can talk. Oh, yeah, I sure will, man. I'm going to definitely be there. Hopefully, it, it works out. It's supposed to be in Phoenix. Hopefully, it works out. I hope he okay. gets everything together because I, I, I know he said that there's a couple of restrictions. Uh, I didn't think it was, but hey, who am I? You know, oh, who am I? hey, what's up, Tanya? So uh, hopefully he get it worked out. He's a good dude, man. He's he's a recovery addict and uh, he's doing oh. right. Yeah. So oh, he's, he's he's on TikTok too. No, no, no. Oh. He can't do social media, and um, he can't do social. media. He because uh, because he has a he has an addictive personality, so he doesn't want to. Oh. He doesn't want to do it. So I want to focus. I want to. I want to support him, and you know, I think he can pull it off. I think he can pull yeah. it off. So when yeah. he does have it, when he when he does have it, I'm going to promote it for him. I told him I'll take over the promotion. You know, so we all, you oh. know, we all got to help each other. So I I try to help him. You know, definitely, definitely. Well, keep me in the loop for that. I really want to hear more about that um, that healing, um, the sound bowl healing, because I is. actually want to take a class like that so I can be like an instructor. I want to be able to instruct my supporters about my experience, you know, and it, it creates that domino effect that we all need, you know? It is amazing. When I'm telling you, I thoroughly enjoyed it and it it's it's good. It's very good. I tell oh, you. Wow. I know on a low level because I have, you know, smaller bowls and stuff. And I listen, even when you see sometimes on live, they be having the Asians who are really more accustomed to, you know, healing with sound and everything. They'll be having the big gold plates and a big yeah. old um, drum to hit it. And man, that sound, even through the live, you could hear and feel that frequency. I want to yeah. have something like that around my home and stuff. Your That's how sinuses. deep I want to go. When I tell you it will clear your sinuses. Yep. You, you, I'm telling you right now, I was like, what in the world? This yeah. is amazing. And, you know, to be there and for, and, it, and I think, I don't know where they came from. I want to say they came from Tibet, but the class yeah. was standing room only and I had to go. I had to see this. You know, even if it's like one day, I, I still had okay. to just get a chance to see the experience that. Even if you right. get, if you ever want to see if you can find an orchestra where they have a sound bowl orchestra or sound bowl garden, find okay. one and just go. It, it, just go to the class. I mean, it should be inexpensive, but they have a sound bowl orchestra. Mm -hmm that you can go to where the people put on a, a, a show. It's really, really nice. It's really nice. I go to people, people be thinking I'm hard. I, I go to corny stuff like that. Cause I don't like <laughs> a lot of energy in my spirit. That's so. not corny. That is not corny at all. It, it, it and I'm sure that they do a lot of that down here. I'm just kind of new here and I haven't explored everywhere. Cause I know they have these wellness centers out here and they're really, really popular. I just got to find it. You know, I, I, that's another thing during this break. I want to network more with people out here so I could find out, you know, what the meditation centers of mindfulness and all of these people are. Yeah. I go, I go to a med I go to the monks and I'm, I try my hardest mm -hmm. to, to stay consistent with them, you know, to go to the monks and meditate. I try my hardest to do it, but it's yeah. hard sometimes here in Maryland to get, to get there sometimes. But I love nah, it. It's not hard here at all. They out here plentiful. I see them every time. And when I go to the airport, I see them, you know, every time. So I really need to start networking. And they plentiful also out here in Sedona area. You oh, know? wow. See, I oh, love yeah. that. I love that. Because yeah. I love the discipline. They, they, I love the discipline. It was a monk. It was Claude Anchin Thomas was the one who helped me on my path, man, of, of healing and doing what I need oh, to really? do. Yeah, he oh, when really? I he was he was the one. He was the one that helped. I wouldn't have listened to no one else. You know, uh -huh. and, the, and the creator sent him. And um he was the one to put me on my path, man. 
And, and I thank I, I thank God for him every day. He he was yeah. incredible, incredible. Wow. Okay. He who I am. I give him respect. I'm making the contacts. Matter of fact, one of my supporters, April, a black female, I reached out to her today. She's um, actually giving me a connect with somebody in the Sedona area that coordinate retreats and stuff and will have these resources that I'm looking for. So I'm pending that phone call today also. So I'm, I'm, I'm making my, my, my way around. But I'm shooting for September for my retreat, like I said. And I want to have all of this that we're talking about available for the people so it could be a life-changing event, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, like, you know, even with my self-improvement university, I try my hardest. Well, I don't make it fun. So, but what I try to do is get to the problem why we're here. And if we could get to the people who seriously want to do the work, you know, right. that's who that you, that's who you make the impact. That you know? That part. And so you really want to do the work, you're going to make your way out there. You know, sometimes when we be live on TikTok, you know, we have people passing through and, you know, attention span and a passion, they just not there. You know, everybody at different places in their journey. But if you could get together with like-minded people that want to do the work, that ain't going to block or have no hindrance of getting out there, man, that's when we really doing something. Yeah, you, you need something. That's where I'm at. I, cause I, I, I mean, I just posted a video with my homegirl. She checked me, like basically saying we don't focus, or I, excuse me, I don't focus on healed women and how I neglected her. And she's right. I have, you know, she lost 75 pounds. She healed herself, you know, from a broken heart. She's amazing. And okay. I, I, I didn't. I, I asked. I asked the question. I said, give me a proper assessment. And she said, you don't focus. She, she was like, you never focus on, you never noticed. And I'm like, shoot. She said, I got to be broken. Basically, she has to be broken for me to notice her. That part. And so even for my messages that I send out, you know, you be trying to help those that, you know, trying to evolve. But what about the people that already evolved? They won't hear a message too. They won't exactly. know what, what to do in their day to day. What could they do to get a little higher than what they already are? So yeah. we can't be limiting our message to one group of people, you know, thinking that we here, you know, kind of like to save those. No, mm -hmm. let them let them step up and catch up to the frequency where we already at. Yeah. yeah. She, she got me, man. And she had me crying because that's my oldest friend. And when she said that, I said, you're right. I couldn't even I couldn't even look at the phone and try to make up something. Even though the ego wanted me to, to to protect my ego to come out and lash out, I accept it because she's right. I mean, yeah. times I've, I've, I've neglect I've neglected the people who have done the work on themselves or the people who say, "Hey, I'm willing to do it. I may not be where you at, but I'm doing something." They get nothing. And she says, yep. I feel that way. I see you jumping in the lives. I see you do this and that. I see you this. And you're always talking about people who really don't want to do it. But what about the people who are on the path and may not be where you at? Right. Right. And exactly. She was right. She was right, right, definitely. And somebody made a side comment, and, I, and I'm not taking this negative. I can find the good in it. Last night, somebody made a side comment when I was talking about my chakra class that's this Saturday. Now, I'm collaborating with a goddess on TikTok, and they had already created the amount for the class, $55.55. Here I come all of these times, and I give from my heart because this is my passion. But the slight comment was that um, the hustle is real when this particular person, you know, found out that it was $55 for the class that we have. And I was like, well, I don't, you know, I didn't make the uh, dollar amount, but I'm thinking to myself, you know, when you constantly give freely, you, you're a giver. So now you're attracting, you got to energetically understand that now you're attracting free loaders and a free loader go always want free. So you change the dynamic of free on a free loader and they get a little wobbly with their energy and don't want to support. But what about the people that's already there energetically and that have the money that that's prepared mentally and that's ready to take things to the next level. We can't always be there for the so-called babes in Christ, just giving away free, you know, and, 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 and them is equivalent to what I learned in religion 
Don't cast your pearls amongst the swine, you know? Don't just sit there and just pour from your cup to people that's just going to just take and, and just walk away and it probably won't even evolve in that particular lifetime. So that really hit home for me, you know, because like I say, I get up here and I give good stuff on good soil because I want my reflections to evolve, but you got to pay attention to the ones that are really like your family that's vibing on your frequency that want to go even higher and see how deep these rabbit holes really, really run. You can't forget about them people there. You can. <laughs> you are 100% right. And let me tell you something about the people say the hustle is real. They have no intentions of, of supporting you. See, here's the thing, man. Some people got a poverty mindset and they think right. that they think that, and, and they think that, well, make it free so I can feel included when, yep. and it's not, it's not fair to the people who spend the money and, and get all this. Like me, I have a free university that said, Hey, yo, come. I just did a, a, a men's, a 360 men's challenge. I spent over, I'm not going to tell how much I spent, but I spent a lot of money, a lot of money to host and facilitate that, that challenge. 27 mm -hmm. wanted to show up. Only one did it. 27 men lied mm -hmm. to themselves. And they yeah. did it because it's free, right? Because it's free, right. And, it's and I hate to say it, it's only in our culture where we do this. And I'm not talking about black culture, I'm American culture, where we are yeah. entitled to thinking that everything that's free, that we're supposed to do something free. Like we need to give it away in order, like like you some, you know, queen of England or something, like I'm supposed to be doing some foolishness for real. This, and this is the problem. Like I tell people, I, I spent $3,500, $3,500 on an intimacy retreat, not including travel. And it was the best money I ever spent in my entire yeah. life. Because it made me, it made me be know how to be intimate with any woman I be with, how to be, how to not be damaging, how to practice, you know, saying how to not practice non non self sabotaging, you know, what I'm saying yeah. how to stop sabotaging myself, how to stop sabotaging whatever. So when we look at people, people really don't want to spend the money on themselves. They don't. Nope. Because they don't believe nope. in themselves. They don't. No. Nope. So it's, it's it's what they rather do is just say, well, give it to me free so I can not value it anymore. The more stuff right. you give out for free, the more devaluing you do to it. That's why yep. I, I, my homegirl, her focus in telling me on that I focus, I don't focus on the people who want it and I focus on the people who don't. It hurt me, but it was it was a good hurt that I needed. It's an eye opener, yeah. Really, you're right. And I said, I cannot get mad. You are 100% right. And that's why I yeah. say the hustle, when people say the hustle is real, those people have no intentions on doing any work on themselves, and they know they do. That's why I call them out every time I say, you're you full of shit. You know daggone well you ain't gonna do nothing to yourself. You just sitting here want to waste my time to make yourself feel better. Take your egotistical yeah. ass somewhere on. And they get mad at me when I sound like that. But it's the truth. Yeah. It's yeah. the truth. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's not fair that other people who want the work has to foot the bill for the people who doesn't. And I said I wasn't yeah. going to do that no more. I'm going to try my best not to do that. I'm going to try my best. Yeah, we got to stop. We got to stop. Make a mental note to stop doing that. Because those people actually don't feel worthy. Those people ain't about to invest in themselves. So they yeah. ain't even ready. They ain't ready for no class or nothing that you have to offer anyway. Because they're yeah. saying, I'm not worthy. I ain't worth that X amount of dollars. You know what? Let me tell you something. Every intimacy, I took an intimacy course. I took a kissing course. I took, I, that cost me $900. No, that cost, yeah, that was up to $900. Intimacy course, 3500 The what The equivalent of what I call a self-improvement class cost me $55,000 to go to. You cannot. Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. You you can't. And I'm telling you, spent money well spent. Life coaches. I I end up having. A, I had a coach. I had a ment. I got a mentor. You know, what I'm saying. And he is world famous. I had a mentor. I got to pay for these things. You know, what I'm saying. And I'm glad because it, yeah. it, it gives me shortcuts in life. It gives you shortcuts in life, man. Yeah. You ain't got to go through what we went through to get there. 
you know, yeah. you get these shortcuts. And, but people don't want to do it. And it's like, well, give it to me for free. All right, cool. Yeah, hang up on you and let me go. There you go. <laughs> because people won't respect that. Them people don't respect free. Nope. Free. Nope. You know, they so don't. That's what they I just see. drain you and just leave you dry. <laughs> yeah. You know leave you dry. Yeah. So, when, oh. so, since you did those, so is that equivalent almost like to. Learning about in you know, Al and learning about uh tan tantric SEX? No, 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 nah, no. Nah. It was it had nothing mm -hmm. to do with that. No, she didn't even she didn't even touch on that. That because I don't get into that because it because I didn't want to know about that. I wanted to make sure <laughs> it was more it was more catered to understanding how the importance of intimacy was and reprogramming a man's right. mind. I knew nothing Whoa. about it. I was from the hood. I'm from the hood. So it's like I was always rough. So it was like I just thought to be I was supposed to be a provider. So right, I didn't right. know about having an emotional response, how to understand my emotions, uh, how to how to be able to communicate effectively, how to communicate mm -hmm. intimately with your spouse or your wife or your girlfriend or whoever, you know what I'm saying? How to have effective communication and to neutralize a situation all requires yeah. intimacy, how to be a father. I learned how to be a better father, to be present. It was way more, it wasn't about, I think they touched on, you know, the grown folks cardio a little bit, but mm -hmm. it was way more than that. You know, it was, okay. it was, it was way more. If it was about that, that other stuff, I probably, I wouldn't have went. Cause I asked that question. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't need to know how to do this. You know, I want to know about all the other stuff, you know, right, I want right, to right. know how to connect. I want to connect with, with a woman. I don't want to not, I want to know how to be a better friend, you know, how to be that. And that's all requires some sort of intimacy. I didn't think that. But I let them learn. Yeah. I learned. I relearned. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was an amazing course, man. It was an amazing course. And how to be intimate with yourself, how to be friends with yourself, how to love on yourself and connect with yourself. And right. give yourself some grace, man. And some 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 slack, you know. Right. Because if you can't do it for yourself, you can't do it for nobody outside of you. It yeah. all starts with them. It starts with them. That's beautiful. I can't wait to to learn more about that myself. It's amazing. It was amazing, man. I I tell any I, I it's the best classes I ever took. You know, I have to take it everything because I wanted when I when I tell people, I completely revamp. I'm not even gonna say revamp myself. I completely created a new person. I learned new there stuff, you and you that's know. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Wow. No, no. All right, man. My, my nap on because I gotta get up and go to boxing. <laughs> All right, baby. Good talking to you. Don't forget to send me that number, though. I am. I'm gonna do it now. Okay. All right. All right. Goodbye. Big T. Big T. Thank you for the gifts, babe. <laughs> Big T gonna be in class this Saturday. You ready, Big T? We're going to talk about chakra healing. For those of you who want to take part in the class Saturday, it's $55, $0.55. You can cash app me. My cash app is in my uh, bio. And enter in your email address in the notes. That way we can send you the direct link to Google Meets. That's where we're going to do the, um, the live at on Google Meets. And we're going to do a two-hour chakra class. I'm pretty sure that it's going to go over two, two hours because we have other speakers as well. But at least two hours starting at 9 a.m. Central. And we're going we gonna to cleanse chakra pools of energy. We're going to tell the importance of each chakra pool of energy and tie it back into your organs of your body because each chakra pool of energy correlates with a different organ in your body 
and explain to you why maybe there's this ease because that's how this ease stems from the spiritual realm of clogging up your chakra pools of energy and then it shows face in the physical reality so if you want to join the class on saturday that's how you do it 55 55 is the amount cash app in my bio leave your email address and we'll email you the direct link for saturday 9 a.m central it's time to heal y'all it's time to invest in yourself too it's time it's time to not just be up in the comment waiting for somebody to give you uh the so-called answer that you think you were looking for and then run away <laughs> You got to bless people upon your journey. You know, I come up here and I, I give from the abundance of my heart and I've shared my life. When somebody share their life with you, you know, that's really all they have. I share my life because I know that you are a reflection of me. And I'm going to give to you. I ain't going to stop based upon one crazy comment. I'm going to still give. But understand your role. Your role in life is not only to receive god in its totality is a giver and a receiver and even if you don't give back to to, to me per se give to, to somebody you know even when you're going out to eat or whatever you're receiving a meal give a tip it's an even exchange that's how you stay in flow that's how you release resistance when you start to stagnate your energy when you start being stingy stingy people are receiving they're receiving a life that's showing them lack in one other area of the life oh they don't get that lack that lack gonna come back yeah the people that walk around in the physical reality looking for the hookup they gonna always no matter where they are in life gonna be looking for a hookup even when they gain maybe the good job with the higher pay they still gonna be looking for a hookup and still those are the type of people that have because i haven't worked with them now they have the financial increase from the higher paying job, but yet they still they never even paid off their house, for example. They still have two and three card notes, for example, because they stagnated their own self based upon their limited thinking of being stingy and always wanting to receive and they didn't know how to give back. I'm telling you how that thing works. I know a lot of people in corporate America like when I retire. They looked at me and they were mad at me. Some of them people rolled their eyes at me when they received that email saying that I was doing early retirement. Why is that? Because I was younger. Why is that? Because I understood re receiving and, and, and giving. I understood flow and they did not. <laughs> Why? So everybody at different places in your journey. Don't start your own growth. Don't start your own growth. You ain't gonna be hurting me. You start your own growth. <laughs> Big T, Big T, you do you do coconut water? Do you do coconut water, Big T? I know you be over there doing your little juices with your ginger and stuff. Ginger is a good anti-inflammatory, but coconut oil and coconut water is too. I'm on my last four, and I think I got a. I almost filled up the whole gallon of it. So I'm almost done. Thank God. I don't, I don't particularly favor this here part, but, but just like I was just saying, you gotta give. I'm giving my energy to this here in order to receive the goodness that's inside of this here. Sometimes you gotta give to receive. Two more, two more. Hey, 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 I'm perfect. How are you? Oh, you said, what are you doing? Yes, I do, but I got to find a new brand. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you one brand that bite. Oh, you told me about it. That B-I-T-A one. You told me about it too, but I had never fooled with that. I already taste that. And when, when you didn't have the real thing and you taste something that's in a container that's supposed to be coconut water, you know, you know the difference. It's like, nah, they playing with them other people, but they ain't about to play with me like that. But what am I doing? I'm juicing my coconut, my young coconuts, 
to make my coconut water and that way whenever I want them it's readily available but actually I'm gonna give this here to somebody because I'm gonna make some other things in this coconut water that's gonna help this person detox their body because they need it mm -hmm. they have an aesthetic body right now and coconut water coconut in itself is alkalizing this is why some people, even with coconut oil, can't just put coconut oil on their skin because it'll, um, it'll like dry their skin out just by itself because the pH of it is at an eight. And so even like with my lotion, for example, I sell coconut lotion, coconut lotion, I have to mix it with other essential oils and other, um, things to bring the pH down because the skin is slightly acidic. And coconut oil is alkaline so you gotta mimic or match the pH of the skin when you're putting stuff on your skin all right last one this is the last one my last one I hope all of these are fit if not I'll just drink the one that don't fit Cause I only need to get a roll up. Roll up. Let me set these in here right quick. So I'm gonna pour this in there. And I wanna, and this here coconut meat, coconut meat is good to eat too. I don't spend all my time busting through the coconut. I like to get the little meat that's on the top of the lid right here. I'll get that off with a spoon and I'll save that and eat it. Cause this is, this is, this is real amino acids. Your building block of your muscle, your healthy fat, antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, all of that. You find that just simply in your coconut. Alkalinity. Electrolytes. Coconuts are also high in potassium. It's so good for the body. All the way around. All the way around good. You can't go wrong with the coconuts. And so like the Jamaicans, you know, the tropical beans, they know this to be true already. They don't have the candida, you know, the overgrowth of yeast and stuff like the people in the States. They don't have that because they're around coconuts. They don't have the overgrowth. Okay. All right. I'm going to be able to fit the last one, so I guess I'll try and get myself. My last one ain't going to go up in here. Should I put a little bit? No, I ain't going to do that. I'm going to just drink this one. But I got close enough. Now, where my top at? I don't know where my top at. Now, I know I just had this one. I got a big mess. I can't. I can't see the top. It's gonna show. Oh, there you go. I knew it was gonna show up. So now I got me a gallon of coconut water for one of my clients. I say, awesome. Let me see. I missed something. I'm headed to Whole Foods now. Yeah, the whole will be getting the whole paycheck, huh? Yeah. Let's see. How much coconut water do you drink a day? Who me? I probably drink about, <laughs> I probably drink about four days a day. Yeah, I get most of my hydration from my fruit. Cause every day I don't eat though. I don't eat every day like other people. I eat my fruit. Like I ate for the Super Bowl day. What is today? I'm retired. Today is like a Thursday. What is today y'all? I don't even know the. I see the date, it said the 16th, but what day of the weekend? It's Thursday. <laughs> Cause I'm retired. I don't, I don't be looking at no calendars and dates and all that. I get in my zone and, you know, and do my thing. But I ate for the Super Bowl day, so that was Sunday. And I had some, some leftovers actually when I went to the Super Bowl and the person that I went to the Super Bowl by had a grapefruit in, in a, uh, a lemon tree 
and they really stored at me with this here juice and of the grapefruit, um, lime, I'm sorry, lime and agave and coconut water. They started me doing this because I came home with so many grapefruit and I've been juicing since then. So that was the last time I ate. So I normally eat like every two to three days of a meal, like food, like something is something you chew because my fruits fill me up. I eat a lot of seeded grapes. I drink a lot of coconut water, oranges, grapefruit, mango, berries, blueberries. So I'm getting minerals. When you're hungry, you gotta be hungry for minerals. And I drink regular water, but even with regular water, I don't be dehydrated. Like I normally used to drink like two of these here a day, but now I probably drink maybe one yesterday i drank this here amount of this one and i didn't get to drinking the whole one so this is what i got left from yesterday because i'm already hydrated though i'm getting hydration at its more powerful form with my fruit fruit hydration you gotta remember like you gotta think about it logically like these waters sometimes these waters will dehydrate us and that's why I teach people how to manipulate their water with sodium bicarbonates and electrolytes. Because we're electric beings. We really, when we're drinking water, we're really looking for the electrolytes and the alkalinity, the minerals that's coming from that water. And so my minerals, I get mine from my fruit instead and leave them waters alone a lot. And I'm just kind of addicted to this lifestyle, y'all. I'm a little different. <laughs> there you go jay jay no h3 o2 they know about that yeah excuse me um how many coconuts did it take to make that gallon um i did a whole that was nine ten that was about 13 because i had four in the case that i just opened up had nine in it yeah so about 13 made that gallon and they are at your local international market. So you Google international market near me and you gonna find it. Them Asian markets, that's where they at. Cause them Asian people got all the exotic food over there. Cause they bring that in the country for the people. So go shop where they shopping at. They got all your sweet tamarind over there. They got your dates over there, your walnuts over there. Everything that you need, your mango, your key limes, your seeded key limes, your seeded oranges, your seeded grapes, they're getting real stuff over there. You ain't gonna find this at no Walmart. And even if you go to Whole Foods sometime, you don't find seeded grapes in the Whole Foods store. Not at the local ones that I've been frequently going to. So when I grocery shop, I go to my Asian market, I get my seeded, my seeded stuff there. And then I go to my Trader Joe's, and I get my little nuts and seeds from over there, my little pine nuts, my walnuts, my Brazil nuts. And I'll probably get some chopped up seeds or something from over there too. Or some little drinks for uh, Trader Joe's. We have some nice organic ju juice drinks over there too. But I move around when I, when I shop. And it ain't going to be in the Walmart. It's going to be at that store that's going to sell high quality stuff for my body. Because I know I need minerals. <laughs> so that don't, that mean Walmart, I don't even go in there for pretty much nothing no more besides toilet paper. And last time I went to get my toilet paper, I went to Restaurant Depot. So I ain't been to Walmart in a long, long time. Because Walmart make all of that darn money. They, the Waltons make all that darn money. And they don't even have healthy choices up in there. They, last time I went, they didn't even have pink Himalayan seeds all up in there. They... Definitely we have watermelons all the time, but they ain't never have seeded watermelons. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have to stop coming here because these people ain't about good health. You know, and then you see on TikTok that they be wilding out and fighting in Walmart and doing all kind of crazy stuff. Like I don't even energetically need to be up in here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, sassy, but I love my coconut water. I'm really in love with it because it didn't help me through my journey so much. Yeah, and so I was just making a gallon of coconut uh, water, nothing fancy just yet, but I'm going to use that gallon of coconut or water, and I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to make a tea, 
a herbal tea and I'm going to make up all kind of juices. And then together I'm going to combine some of it to another bottle and half in it with coconut water, with some herbs, with some citrus fruit and a detox blend that I'm going to put inside of it for a client of mine whose body is very acidic. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see. Now that your 90 day fast is over, what do you eat? Just a bunch of fruit. A bunch of fruit. I ate one day. One day I went to this little Mexican place and I got some Mexican food after my fast. You know, the little uh, chips and the salsa. It was maybe about two or three days after my fast. And like, <laughs> I had these things. I had the chips and the salsa. And I had these mini chicken chimichangas. They call them out here. First of all, to me, because I was on a 90 day fast, the chicken chimichangas was funky to me because I hadn't detoxed my body. It was stink to me. But I was like, you know, I haven't had this in a long time. Um, and they used to be delicious. So I kind of like on my old program forced myself to eat the thing. Told my stomach up. It told my stomach up so bad. So since then, I ain't really been fooling with food, food. Because now I feel, I feel like my stomach is so small. Like I didn't eat much before the fast, but now I feel like my stomach just shrunk into this little bitty little hole that can't even take too much food because I hadn't been putting any, nothing in there for 90 days. So my day would be waking up for water, coconut uh, water or regular water, getting me some um, grapes, oranges, um, I'll eat some crackers. I, they have these little crackers that I like with real sea salt on them. I eat a couple of them. And you know what I, I like too? And this is weird, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> I like these here. Look, and you know I ain't lying because I'm all, almost out. I'm showing you literally crumbs. I actually eat stuff like this here. This is actually a multi purpose seasoning. But to me, it, it has iodine in it. And so this is where I get my iodine and, iodine and stuff from. And it has sesame seeds in here, black um, sesame seeds, nori, and kelp. And so this is the kind of stuff I eat. I eat like a bird. I literally eat like a bird, y'all. And so I put this here. I put this here in my hand. I ain't going to put too much because all of the little salts and stuff at the bottom because I'm almost out. I put this here in my head and I eat a whole thing of this. <laughs> And this would be like a meal to me, like right? Because I'm getting magnesium and chlorophyll and, and I'm getting my iodine for, from this here. It tastes equivalent to me versus something you all probably taste already, like Chinese noodles. <laughs> it tastes like Chinese noodles. And I love it. To me, that's me eating on Chinese noodles. <laughs> Yep. Fruit water is the best. Yes, grateful. May you make um, a list on your pages, please, honey. A list. What am I making a list of on my pages? Uh, who is that? 21. I found the baking soda at Whole Foods. Oh, they have it over there? Yeah. Sometimes they don't, but that's good. Or you could go to Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, Sassy. Yeah. I don't like fruits. Wait, what? Who's that? Let me see who that name is. DB Jax. I don't like fruits. What's an alternative? You don't like no fruit? God darn it, have so many fruits. You don't like not one? <coughs> I don't even know how to answer that question. You don't like fruits, like chewing them, the texture? Do you like fruit juices? Do you just outright don't like no fruit? That's not good. Because I'm thinking about that, and I think consciously about my meals and fruit and all. Fruit is where you're getting your real fiber from. How you gonna go to the bathroom? Is what I'm thinking, and I ain't being ugly. I'm just allowing you to think. How you gonna go to the bathroom if you don't get fiber? 
how you're going to avoid being ascetic because fruit is the thing that clean out your lymphatic system where all the acids go. Oh, you don't like fruit. I don't know, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I just would say maybe kind of like open up your mind to maybe get into maybe melons. If you don't like the citrus fruit, maybe get into berries or the melons. But um, good luck with that one. Because I used to not like fruit. I'm thinking about me. I put myself in that situation. When I was younger, I used to not like fruit. But that was back in the day when I had ignorance. You know, when I was in a box of my limited thinking. And I only liked green grapes and pickles. I didn't like vegetables either. But guess what? When I was in that place, that state of being, I was, I was a heavy meat eater. I was gaining weight. I had acne too. I had irritable bowel syndrome. I had vertigo. <laughs> I, had, I was anemic. All of these health issues walking around talking about I don't like nothing but grapes and, 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 and pickles. Green pickles. Those are the only green things that I wanted to eat. And I thought at that time that that was something cute to say. But that looking at that now, that's like a little ignorance right there. They have so many hundreds of fruits that I hadn't even explored. Like back then, I didn't know. I had never tasted a kiwi back then. Or a mango back then. Or had coconut water back then. And it's delicious to me cantaloupe, you know, oranges, sweet tamarind. I love me some sweet tamarind, you know, but I didn't know of them back then. That's an African fruit right there that will help you get rid of old fecal matter, clear out parasites, and help you go to the bathroom all at the same time. But I was sitting up there saying I ain't like fruit. But I like that two-piece spice and white with mashed potatoes and a jalapeno pepper and that strawberry, uh, Strawberry drink on the side from Popeye's though. I went there every day. Every day. Now, now I can't stay in that. Now, mm -mm. that'll tear my stomach up because I changed my mind. I changed my life. But I don't know what to tell you if you don't like fruit. I mean, you could go to herbs. The herbs are actually the dry version of the fruit though. So maybe you're not eating herbs either. Maybe you eat the two-piece spicy white with mashed potatoes. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Hello from you. Say, hey, hey, Anthony. I forced myself to drink coconut water. Don't really care for the taste, though. Yeah, you don't really care for the taste of the ones in the bottle. Or you don't care for the taste of the real ones. Because the ones in the bottle really do taste a little bit different. They be having preservatives up in there. But these right here, these are sweet. This not nasty. I'm not forcing myself to drink no nasty stuff, no. Mm -mm. I did that in the beginning of my journey. I forced myself on that kale. I, I don't like kale, but I thought that was the only way that I could get a superfood. So I ate it. You know, I forced myself because I didn't know. But now I know better and I know I can get my magnesium and my chlorophyll from other superfoods like my watercress, like my cilantro. I could also get it from my uh, sea vegetables, like my nori seaweed, and it's going to get me iodine too. Iodine helps to detox my body too. So, I ain't over here forcing none of these fruit. These fruit I'm in love with. <laughs> I'm on the love side. I don't do the forcing thing no more. Yeah. Yeah. I put it in my uh, vegan tuna salad. Oh, really? You got some? Yeah, that sounds delicious. I can have a vegan tuna salad. That sounds really delicious. I prayed asking God to show me how to eat healthy three days after I prayed. God sent me you. Yes, yes, I am the answer to them prayers. Yes. That's your subconscious mind, Sassy. Subconscious mind yielding to you. Your thoughts, your desires. Hey, soul. Thank you for following me. A list of your juicy mixes, your detoxification products. I have a whole course actually on my website where I, I take you there while I'm there, while I'm detoxing, when I'm a size two, when I cleared out my um, freezer and my cupboard for me and starches. And I showed, I walk you in the store and tell you every little thing that I did. It's 18 how-to videos. It's called my transformation course, the Power Within Transformation course. It's available on my website. Click on my picture up here. You'll see my website in bold, www.sorvierpub.org. Go there. You'll see a picture of me on my website. Right underneath the picture of me, it says Power Within Transformation Course. That's everything you need. Everything. Everything you need. 
how to read ingredients, how to cleanse your organs, how to um, detox the body, how to grocery shop, how to manifest and meditate, how to everything. Sit right there. I show you the physical side and the spiritual side so you can't go wrong. How to work on your self-concept and know that you're worthy of these things. So physically and spiritually, I'm there with you, walking you through it. You can't miss a beat. You can't. <laughs> I, already, I already got you covered. It's called the Power Within Transformation Course. Or like some people, they like to sit here and just wait and just wait for that answer that they've been waiting on. So just like I'm sharing with y'all coconut oil today. Coconut oil has so many benefits. Coconut oil has a lot of benefits, but there ain't no one way of becoming healthy just by drinking no coconut oil. It ain't gonna be no quick fix. It, 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 you fix the entire body from head to toe when you create the lifestyle change with the mindfulness practices too. Cause you see people, people could drink coconut oil and in their mind they could be like, well this crap ain't working. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to see. I don't believe nothing she's saying about it, but I'm going to see though. And so that mindfulness practice going to stop them from achieving greatness in that area. So you got to do both the physical and the spiritual. This is called conscious creating and conscious thinking. When you're conscious, you're conscious of what you're thinking when you're digesting the coconut. So by knowing that the coconut, by doing the research that I did, I know the beneficial properties of the coconut oil. So when I'm drinking it, I'm thinking the positive thought. So guess what? Mindfulness trumps the physical. Mindfulness is the 99.999% of it all. But see, then there's the physical, which is 0.01%. They got people that eat healthy today now, but they have a chaotic mindset and they still sick. They got a whole bunch of old beast vegans right now and they still have health issues. So it ain't, it ain't just the physical, it's the mindfulness too. So that's why I created the Power Within Transformation Code. So you get, a, you get the lowdown of everything, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, big T. Do you have an ebook? Yeah, I have an ebook too. It's in my book. My book is available. It's underneath my picture on my website too. He who has a ear, let him hear. I talk about my journey in the beginning of the book, but then I talk about my mindfulness in the herbs. I have a whole chapter in the book about live foods that heal. And then I have a whole chapter, Thou Shall Not Heal. That's a, a chapter dedicated to what you should not be putting in your body no more. You got to start thinking like that. You got to start thinking like, okay, is this life? Am I consuming life? What kind of electrolytes? What kind of minerals is this that I'm about to consume? Or is this here a plate of food that lacks color? So visibly I can see that it's going to just turn into mucus inside of me. It's going to turn into mucus. So now I got to work out a little bit harder. Now I got to detox a little bit harder just so I can get this dead animal, these, this, this white rice, these starches that I call, all this stuff that I call so called protein, I got to work hard to get this out of my body. When guess what the real source of protein is? Coconut. Guess what a real amino acid is at in your coconut meat, in your coconut oil, in your coconut water? Yeah, that's where they're at because they're in the fruit. Your life, your juice, your minerals. In the fruit that you might not like in the beginning, but you grow on this journey and you fall in love with it because you realize that it's healing my body. When I realized, even though I had lost all that weight and went down to a size zero, when I realized that this here thing stopped me from having to put them glasses and get glasses renewed every year, oh, I kept on going. When I realized that my face was clearing up from eating all them darn pork chops back in the day and I didn't have them little black circles no more that leave spots letting you know your body is ascetic. Oh, I kept going. When I realized, oh, I'm going to the bathroom every day now. I used to go to the bathroom every three to four days. I was full of SHIT. Oh, I'm going to keep going. And so things like that, when you feel and experience those things happening to you, your mental clarity, your ability to get good sleep, your energy, your inner being expanded. Oh, that right there. That's going to make you keep going. That's going to make you fall in love with you more and fall in love with nature more, fall in love with fruit more, fall in love with the sun more, fall in love because this is all you. You ain't nothing but a condensed version of the sun. <laughs> this is you showing you you. 
And so when I found out or learned that about me, I, I just kept going. Yeah, I kept going. The real one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The real one? Oh, my goodness. I like the real one. I really like the real, real one. I thought you meant one of them bottle ones. But put a, put a little squeeze of key lime inside of it. Make it taste better. Transform the energy of it. Uh, grateful. Put some, put some agave. Agave sweetener. Just in case you don't know what that look like. I got some sitting right here. Agave. You can sweeten it with agave. This is like a prebody. You can put a little splash of key lime. And you turn that into a sweet juice. Don't, don't let the, the natural state stop you when you could do something to manipulate the energy of it. Yeah. Put a little bit of watermelon juice up in there. Squeeze you some juice from a watermelon where you eat it and put in there watermelon in. And coconut is really delicious together. Yeah, you could you could change that. You could change that taste, but I like it like that right there. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. The real. Yeah. Is there a way to order the case of water? Of coconut water? Yeah. You could order um you could order online. The online on Amazon, believe it or not, they have some some coconut waters. You just when you order it from on Amazon, you want to make sure that you t you look in the back of that can that you ordered from because you want the ingredients to say 100% coconut. And I find the best ones are the ones that you can get with the pulp in it. When they even took their time and put some of the pulp in there, that you know you kind of get in like a pure one. Or you could go to your local local um, grocery store. But my thing, my biggest suggestion, if you want to get the real, real deal, like these right here, I would just suggest you to go driving over there to the um to the international market and go pick up a couple of cases and open up some things in your house and you have the realest deal. Then you'll have this here gallon, you know, equivalent to this here gallon that I have, unless you don't feel like doing this here word to open it up, if that's what you're saying. If you don't want to work on opening it up, you're going to have to get your little can in there. And you're going to have to just read them ingredients and trust that, you know, ain't too many preservatives up in there that's going to alter, you know, the real, you know, benefits of the coconut water that you're drinking. Because they be putting some preservatives in, in different things up in there. They have to when they put it in the can. You think this here bottle that I just made right here is just going to sit, you know, in a can? And last for years, because <laughs> they don't know as a consumer when you're going to buy it. So they got to manipulate it to put a preservative in there, a shelf life in there, while you sit on TikTok asking about it. They, and they waiting on you to come over there and pick it up. <laughs> they waiting for you to come over there and pick it up off the shelf. Yeah. Thank you. You are so welcome, 21. I left that for you, and I'm hopeful that you enjoy it and take advantage of that. I left it for all of my reflections, that power within transformation course. I wish when I was on my journey that I had that because it's valuable information. I give y'all valuable information right here on live. So you know that that's valuable information there. I was taking my time. That's all I do. I try not to leave anybody just hanging, you know, because I think about me. Yeah. But it comes in a point in your life where you have to sit with yourself and you got to absorb and you got to not only just be a listener, but a doer of the things that I've been giving you all. You got to do this. You got to make this here a lifestyle so you can evolve. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going back to the website because I missed that. Oh, you missed the power within transformation course. It tells you everything. Oil or water. The coconut oil and water is beneficial, but the oil is pretty more potent as far as inflammation is concerned. Yeah, but you could do both. You could do both. They all have. They both have the properties. They both are alkaline. They both full of the amino acids. They both gonna help you with your bowel movement. They both antifungal, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, antibacterial. Um, yeah, because they're coming from here. They all coming from here. They make the coconut oil from this here meat that I'm talking about. That's how the oil is created. But the oil puts the fire out immediately. Like for those people who never had coconut oil before and they're walking around in flame, inflammation is in the barrier of every sickness and disease. When the mucous membrane has been compromised in the in the chest, for example, you know, you can call it um, bronchitis, right? But right there, that's where your weak point is. That's where your inflammation is. So if you want a person to have that, 
and you consume coconut oil, since it's anti-inflammatory, as soon as you consume coconut, coconut oil in that area, you're going to feel like the fire has been put out. And those people, because I consult with sick people all the time, they sit there and I literally see them say, <sighs> as an inflammation in society, right? I tell them on purpose because I know this going to happen. I tell them, sit down when you take it and feel your body so you can connect with your body so you can understand when your body talking to you because your body going to feel good as that inflammation subsides. And I ask them, I say, you feel it? And so I get them to go in because I want you all to understand how to go in. Going in is where God is. Going in is where infinite intelligence. Go in. Get to know thyself. Get to know the cells of thy body. You got to go in and do that. You can't be walking up, taking the coconut off. Oh, I'm running late for work. Because nah, nah, nah. you ain't going to feel the... <sighs> you got to be still to know that I'm God. You see? Be still to know that I'm God. Yeah. Right. Awesome book. Oh, thank you, Grand Goddess. Thank you for... um. Purchasing, reading, and comment on my um book. Karuth, all brown plates. Yeah, the plates should have color, color, hue. You know, hue is showing you that there's minerals inside of it. The only thing that um, I wouldn't say I eat anything that's all the way white. If you think about that, because even with look at this here coconut. The white, there's white meat in the inside, but this coconut itself ain't white. They got the brown shell on it, on there, right? And so when you think about things like um, white sugar, addictive and toxic, right? You think about white pasta turns into mucus, right? Turns into sugar. You think about white potatoes. You think about the white french fries that come stem from the potato. That slows you down. That's the type of food that when you eat it, you get tired. Listen to our body. Our body gets tired. When we eat a whole big bloody steak, we get tired. We'll say that it's good because it was seasoned good. But the thing that you think is good is the herbs. That's the thing you think is good. Because if you if you, if you thought the meat was good, why don't why don't we just go outside when we when we see the animal and the cow? I mean the cow and the, you know the pig and everything walking. Why don't we just go running behind it and take a bite out of its back? If we thought it was so delicious, we don't eat our food like that. Well, we put the herb on it, we put the seasoning on it, we put that flavor on it, and then we call it good. But without that, that ain't doing really good for us. So why not take out the middle man in your life, cut back on the middle man in your life, and fill up on them herbs? Like that's how I started in the beginning when I. I love me some bow tops. You know, I started by cutting back and then I'll do like a, maybe a half of it, right? And then I will make sure that I put all kind of green um, onions and all, all color peppers, my purple onions, my shake season, and I'll do like a tomato um, slice. Tomato slices on my steak or my pork chop or whatever to give it some juice, some flavor, some life, right? And I'll make a salad with it and then i put those fixings on top of my salad now i'm talking about a little bitty piece of the meat little bitty piece until i got to the point where you know what i'm taking pork out i'm taking steak out because they take about three days to digest in my system i'm taking that thing completely out i'm taking it out and then i went cold turkey and then i realized okay see that stuff that i put in there that chopped up season i'm gonna go after that some more so now i'm gonna add some mushrooms to that there I'm going to add some more herbs like that to that day. I'm going to add some, some more oils, the better oils for my body, the avocado oils. And now that sauce that was in my meat, that same sauce to this day, if I feel like making me a salad, I create that same sauce the same way. Just the meat just gone now. The same way with my avocado oil, with my little bit of splash of water, with my shake seasonings, and with my chopped up seasonings, I saute that up just a little bit on the stove, and I put that same sauce on top of my um on top of my salad, and that's my meal now. I took out that middle man, and now my plate has life and color, and it has minerals for me, cause that's what I was hungry for in the beginning, in the first place. But I didn't know no better. I thought it was the meat because that's what I grew up on. That's what grandma and, and, and my mom and them taught me. And so that's what we do. We rinse and repeat. 
But it comes a moment in life where you got to break the generational curse of being ignorant as it pertains to health and wellness. If you know darn well that they got took out with diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney issues, this, that, and the third, and they suffered and suffered by doing the same thing and not daring to be different, then one day you got to change. You got to be the change because life is happening through you or it is not. <laughs> or it is not. Yeah. Hey, Miss Keeping It Real. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So let's see. Thank you for the follow, uh, Glittering Goddess. Yeah. I got the black spots on my face. Yeah. That's from all of that pork. That could go away with lifestyle change. Hey, newbie in Melvin. Yeah. A lifestyle change. A lifestyle change. Agave will do. Yeah. Just a little bit of splash of uh, agave. You're welcome for that idea. What is the best uh, coconut water? Uh, I wouldn't say best, but this the the one that I really like is one that's actually out here though, and it's like a local one. It's Bosch coconut water, but that Bosch's that's the name of the little local grocery stores out here. I live in Arizona, and I don't know where you are. B A S H A S is the name of the grocery store, and they have their water coconut water here that I buy. That's the um. The so-called best to me that's the only one that i drink outside of um the real coconuts so back in new orleans my um i'm not sure what my mom is getting but my mom goes to this store called rouse's and she gets the rouse's brand in new orleans so if you have one of those rouse rouse's r-o-u-s-e-s -E supermarkets they have a brand and she says with that brand it tastes really good and I helped her pick it out because I made sure she looked at the ingredients and she liked the taste and the ingredients is just 100% coconut water and that's what you're really looking for. The one that don't have the preservatives and stuff up in there. Can't find the one in the can that don't have preservatives? Go for the young coconut. It's the sweeter one, the brown coconut. Those that I hear that those are the ones that they use to make stews and stuff with. Those are the ones that right now in Mardi Gras time out in New Orleans, that's they're going to be throwing and stuff to the to the people. And they do it for Zulu too. And they put, you know, little ornaments and stuff on it. When I was a little girl, I, I grew up in New Orleans. They used to throw that kind of coconut and I used to try to drink it. And that was the name the kind to me. But I fell in love with these younger ones because they were sweeter. And they wasn't as, as, as bitter as the other kind that they do in New Orleans. Yeah, that is a good idea. I'll be having some good ones because I've been through those things. I want the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon or evening. Hey, Ashley. It is. Oh, it's afternoon out here. It's 420. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. I just got home. Hey, Miss being so Opening up my package from you. I sent you a package. What did I sent you? you ordered I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember your hair looks nice oh thank you that's my um my products I ain't even fooled my hair in a couple of days that's my products in my hair that's um that's be cleanse and condition in there and I ain't even wash moisturize it with uh be moisturized in a couple of days but yeah my products bring my hair back to life and bring my curls out and be having my curls pop moisturized twist yeah thank you twists that need to be moisturized they're not really well my my shampoo is a moisturizing shampoo yeah you're right but i ain't put my be moisturized in it is what i'm saying yeah thank you for the follow welcome welcome uh dizelle welcome thank you for the gifts too oh you follow me and you give me gifts and a rose thank you thank you Let's see, DB Jax, thank you for the rose. Soul Eclipse, thank you for the follow. Says, it says, yes, Zulu. Yeah, at the Zulu parade, that's for Mardi Gras. It's going to be this Thursday. This Thursday, I mean, this Tuesday, the 21st in New Orleans. Hello, says, hey, 66, sustain in that. Oh, you got the detox and the alchemist oil? Yeah, so those of you who we were talking about coconut, oh, um, it's being sold. That's the same. It's the truth. 
You got to get you some empty gel capsules because they're really, really bitter. That's going to help you drink it or digest it. Or you're going to have to use some maybe acidic drink, maybe some um, really acidic like orange juice or grapefruit juice, whatever, because they're really, really bitter. But that gets rid of all fecal matter, toxicity in the bottle, body. It's going to bulk up that um, bowel movement. You're going to feel like you have lost pounds. I'm telling you, keep on with it. Stay hydrated. Drink water. And even with that alchemist oil, you can use that alchemist oil in the morning when you oil pulling with coconut oil. You put the, you get coconut oil, a teaspoon of coconut oil and like five drops of the alchemist oil. And together, that means you have coconut oil, you have clove oil, and you got oregano because alchemist oil is clove and oregano oil together, right? Now you have three powerful antivirals, antiparasitic, antimicrobials, antibacterial in your mouth. You swoosh and gargle with that. And if you have any type of tonsil issues, the oil is putting all of that for. If you have toxicity, if you have um, parasites in the gut or sinuses in the head, all of that from here to here going to start draining forward. That's what oil pulling is all about. Pulling the toxicity up and balancing the mouth because it's saliva is supposed to be slightly um, alkaline in a healthy person. Getting rid of all of them acids and allowing the lymphatic system right up in this area to flow. That is a great investment. I feel so happy for you because I know it's going to detox your body. That was that's my first baby. It's the same detox. My first baby. That's when I had a, uh, I was anemic when I wore glasses when I was overweight. I had my thyroid issues, and I put them herbs. I formulated them herbs to detox my body, and now it feels so beautiful to be in a position to help other people and see other people using something that I know works because it worked on me. Because I saved my own self. <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong. You made a good purchase. Yeah, I love your hair. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, thank you. Thank y'all for the follows. I appreciate that. Peace, peace. First time here, and I love it. Oh, welcome. First time here, Wellness TikTok. AKU Wellness TikTok, welcome. I just finished eating my papaya seeds. This is powerful. Yeah, papaya seeds are anti-parasitic. I saw an ad. Y'all saw that ad? They had this lady on this ad on TikTok. And they were talking about vagina health, but they were holding a papaya and they were squeezing the papaya in the air. But they were talking about a toxic chemical that's going to help you with your vagina health and all of this. And it was destroying the papaya. And I'm sitting up there, I'm like, that was the cure right there. You threw the cure away and you're going to get the medicine instead? I mean, it just blew my mind. And I, and I, I shouldn't have probably said nothing in people comments because I know they God in their own reality. I don't normally say nothing when people ain't doing you know how I see they should be doing but that would just it, it, I think it triggered me. I was like no that makes no sense this is unreal <laughs> they was wasting the papaya like, don't you do that to the papaya to the papaya take that silly ad down and go get that darn papaya out the trash can and eat them seeds and get rid the, the bacteria in your vagina and in your gut. That's why you got the yeast infection because you don't want to eat the papaya. Okay, okay. I <laughs> but I didn't like that. Like, come on now, people. Get your life together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm excited for you too. Thanks, goddess. I love your life from your first word. It was like, this is my space. Yep, well, welcome to our space. I love the information. Thank you. You just named my whole health history. I'm going to order. Oh, really? Glittering goddess. Yeah. Y'all got to check out. And I'm not rushing. Hey, perverse. She didn't pass back. Thank you for passing back. And I'm not rushing you all. But like I said, this ain't no pressure. This ain't no marketing scam or whatever. But if you are going to order, try to do it so before Sunday. Cause if not, you're gonna be. I'm going on a, a two week break. Cause I gotta, I gotta go and heal somebody, and so I gotta go networking too, and and so I'm gonna be busy. I wanna be focused on what I'm doing at that time for two weeks. So on Sunday, my website gonna be closed. And just to let you know, if you're interested, I don't know how you, how you, with, you know, some people be waiting for Fridays and this and that. And third, don't forget if you can order something, do so before Sunday. Cause Sunday morning, I'm closing it for two weeks. 
Because like I say, I do everything. I make all of those products myself. I put my hand on everything that I sell. And for two weeks, I got a lot of, I got a um, client that I got to deal with and some networking I got to deal with for my retreat and stuff. So I'm going to need to be focused on that. Just letting you know, ain't no, you know, marketing thing. I ain't got to do marketing. I'm a master manifest. I ain't got to do no market. I, I draw people to me energetically. I'm just letting you know that though. Wait a minute. This says, great job. You've gone live for 90 minutes. Don't forget to take a break. Okay, y'all. TikTok said I need a break. So y'all press the likes, press the screen, tap the screen, y'all. Let me get to 14,000 before I go. And this, this, this is the offering time. Tap. No, let's go to 15. They got 40 people up in here. Y'all could get me to 15. Tap the screen for me. I'm about to take a break. Because TikTok said I need a break. TikTok think it knows me. Could y'all tap that screen till we get to 15,000 likes? Because I this is offering. This is my offering. You could get, could you give? You received, huh? Could you give a little bit? Give me a little bit. <laughs> I have been running my mouth though, TikTok. TikTok knew I was running my mouth. Oh yeah, we made it. That was fast. We made it to 15. Thank y'all. Y'all tapping. Thank y'all so much. Your skin is flawless. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It ain't always been like this yet. Send me the information on a retreat. I sure will. I sure will. I'm doing my final touches on the um, retreat. And so I will be talking about the retreat a whole lot. You ain't gonna miss that information because I'm excited about that thing there because I know it's going to change lives. You know, when you get people out of their environment, you increase their frequency. Then we're going to be at high elevation, like thousands of feet up in the mountains of Sedona. So you ain't going to miss that. Thank you all so much for the likes, the love. Yes, I'm tapping. Thank you for the taps. Tapping. I may have to send you uh, 100,000 taps. I'm back to tapping. <laughs> Where's the retreat? The retreat's going to be in Sedona in September out here in Sedona, Arizona. Yeah, so y'all have any more questions before I wrap this up? Thank you for the follow, uh, Corel Williams. Keep changing lives, goddess. That's what we need. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. All right, wait a minute, y'all. We about, we right there at 20, since it was that fast. Could y'all give me the 20? And then we go wrap this up and get about of here. Let me know about the retreat, interested. Yes, I will. I will constantly post that because that was my goal of actually moving out here from New Orleans, Louisiana to Arizona. Tap that screen, y'all. We almost at 20. And I will keep y'all posted. And I want to make it all inclusive. Well, y'all got the vegan food. Y'all got the proper environment. Y'all got Tibetan bowls. You got life coming at you for being at a high frequency. You got mindfulness. You got um, breakout sessions of meditation. You got hiking. I want all that to be inclusive. So y'all start saving y'all money. Don't y'all spend all that income tax money on no Beyonce. Don't save. Don't spend. Oh, we got the 20. Thank y'all. That was fast. Don't spend all your money on no Beyonce concerts and all that crazy stuff. I was tired of you. Save some of your money on the side for this upcoming retreat in September. That way you could save money for the larger part of you, your soul, because your soul lives on. That little music stuff with Beyonce, that's fun and dandy, but you want to invest in your soul that lives on, okay? Let me see. I'm going to check this here one more time. Keep changing lives. Yeah, let me know about the retreat. Yeah, do you like it in Arizona? I love it. It's like heaven on earth. I love it. I was led here. I never stopped tapping. <laughs> Beyonce won't what? What is it? Beyonce won't bring you any wealth. Help is well invested. And yes, you got, I like you being here, wellness. You're welcome, welcome. Wellness TikTok. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Goddess Crystal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you back. We won't break our soul with Beyonce, for real. Why Arizona? Well, it was, it called me energetically. I came here on a retreat right before Hurricane Ida hit in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I fell in love. It was like heaven on earth. And I said out loud, this is going to be a place that I uh, retire at. 
because it's drawing to me. It felt like heaven. It felt like the birds do my name. It felt like because I come from religion, and you know how in religion they say um, the Christ conscious one was meditating on the mountain. He often go, you know, in the parables, he often go to the mountain to meditate and, and pray, and the disciples would be sleeping or whatever. It was like when I went to the mountains in Sedona, all of my thoughts were clear, and I consciously felt like I was the Christ conscious one that was on the mount pretty much with mindfulness. I just felt like this, if, if I looked at the allegory text in its physical form, I was like, this has to be the place. The soil was so rich, the energy was so rich, even the animals in nature, they're so poised and peaceful, they're not coming, you know, the coyotes and the rabbits and, and the road runners and stuff and the hummingbirds, they are so sweet and it's almost like when they look at you, they like, they say hi. You know, like, it's just so cool, right? And so it was out of my environment. So then I go back home. I go back home. Then on August, Katrina birthday, August the 29th, Hurricane Ida came. And I had to rebuild the same house again. I was like, oh, no, this is, this is insane. I've been, I've been rebuilding houses since I was a little girl because this happened in my mom's neighborhood. And now I have my own house in New Orleans that I've rebuilt, maybe about a good seven times, you know? And so... I was like, man, I'm done. And so I was like, I practice mindfulness all the time. I'm going to put this thing to work. And I started writing it down in my black book. I started writing it down. I live in Arizona. I'm retired. So I manifested my early retirement. I manifested my house. And I started doing, I started quantum jumping in this house. And I got me a realtor. Everybody in my, in my, stayed or on my street wherever i went they kept telling me it was like my subconscious mind through my reflections was speaking to me you need to go you you seem like you need to go to the west you ever been to arizona before even my girlfriends back in school they i would see them at the store or something they'd be like yeah girl i'm going to arizona and i'll be sitting there looking at them everybody was mentioned in this place returning to this place it was almost like my subconscious mind was saying don't forget we about to go to arizona and so I was, all, and they didn't know that I was trying to manifest this thing. I was seeing so many um, messages from within me and outside of me. And so I, my friend across the street from me in New Orleans, she was a realtor. And I asked her if she knew any realtor friends out here. And she transferred me to a realtor friend out here. I met her and I came to look around. And when I walked into a model of this house, I knew it because I had already carried it with me. I had already manifested. I was like, this is my home. I know it. And it was the last one left. And then that's history. That This is my house. I went back to New Orleans while they finished building it. They were sending me pictures of it. I went to my, came for my clothes and went back to New Orleans, got all of my stuff. And, and now I'm here. That's why Arizona, I was drawn here. And I feel like I was drawn here for also a greater purpose to be in that environment, close to that environment that felt like home in Sedona. And that's why I want to do the retreats because that changed my life. And I want to be in a position to change other people's lives. Because when you come out of your environment, your environment, your neighborhood, since we're energy, frequency, and vibration, you, you might not know this, but I'll share this with you. Your neighbors are on the same frequency, the same mindset, <coughs> excuse me, same mindset. And those thoughts, you're picking up on those thoughts. You might not know those words, but you're picking up on those thoughts. And so when you start thinking elevated higher thoughts like I had begun to do, what happened is my frequency was increasing. And so I could no longer habitat in that environment. So the universe or my subconscious mind was making way for me to experience a higher level of consciousness or environment. And so scenes... Things start to happen, like um, bridge of incidents start to happen, like my that storm, it had to, and it, believe it or not, that storm tore up my house, but my neighbors around, their house was fine, it tore up my house, it tore up my fence, it was like, wait, we gotta, we gotta hit this one here, we gotta give her this bridge of incident here, we gotta keep her in contact with that neighbor right there, that's a realtor, because that neighbor right there, she gotta get in contact with that neighbor, uh, that girlfriend of hers in Arizona, it's like a bridge of incidents orchestrating and ordering your steps. And then, then I, I linked up with that realtor and that realtor happened to be a conscious lady. 
and I enjoyed her. I enjoyed her spirit, her energy. And so everything was just perfectly orchestrated for me to walk into that flow. See, life is about going through the flow. It ain't about fighting against the waves and the current. Everything that you are desiring, you receive it through flow. Not resistance, through flow. So I, I walked into my purpose. I walked into my purpose and then then on top of that and then i get here and i didn't know nobody in the in sedona and everything has been flow i'm working on my networking through flow the people that do consults that i consult with just to mentor them they want to give back to me because it's through flow and they help me with my contacts with, with, with other resources that's helping me with the retreat because it's about flow and life is leading me to my flow. <laughs> yeah, with ease, with ease. Yeah, yep. Let's see, me too, I come, I came to pose and stuck. Yep, there you go. You have a soothing voice, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that, oh, you did that. And I know this is your last building, goddess. Yeah, thank you, Master Manifesto. Yeah, we all are. We're creators, creating. First time here, checking in from Houston. And yes, this is the type of mindset to have. It works. It works. The power of manifestation, it works. It's nothing to sleep on. That's our superpower. That's our divine birthright. Lady of faith, yeah, of knowing. Yeah, wow, blessings. Mind of a matter. Yeah, I thought this up. In your experience, if you look around and become accountable, you're thinking it up. And if you don't like what it is, change your thoughts. Because the thoughts represents the cause and effect. <laughs> you thought our think our thinking caused things to happen. Our life is the effect. So you don't like living paycheck to paycheck. Stop saying those thoughts that have you there. Start believing and telling yourself habitual thoughts that I am wealthy. Money is everywhere. I'm, in, I'm abundant. I am the assets. I am the gains. If you don't know how to do that, check out my YouTube channel. I have self-concept affirmations on there for money, for weight loss, for love, whatever you need. I done already created the, the um, self-concept videos for you. You go to my, um, my uh, profile right here. There's a black triangle that's going to lead you to the YouTube. That's the YouTube symbol. You go to YouTube, look under these videos. You scroll down, because this was about a year ago when I created this year. You scroll down, you're going to see the same picture of me on the thumbnail. You're looking for a video right here that looks like this here picture, the thumbnail. And it says to be loved and desired. That's one. Right up in that area, there's one for wealth. Right up in that area, there's one for um, health. And so you, you program your mind, you send a new signal to your subconscious mind that don't know if you're experiencing this, this thing now, or you're thinking this thing up, you trick it into thinking that you're experiencing it right now, the abundance right now, the health right now. And you listen to that while you're drifting off to sleep for 30 days when your brainwave frequency is going into the theta state of being. In that place of being, that's when your subconscious mind is wide open and it's ready to receive a new command, you do that for 30 days, you didn't change your mind. You didn't change your life. And that's what I was doing. I was drifting to sleep in my new house for, for those 30 days. Yeah, I was drifting to sleep and I was, I was financially secure and I was free from the corporate America job that I had been on for 22 years. All because I thought that thing up. I would go to work and in my mind, in my human imagination, I would look at my coworkers and I'd be telling them when they put stuff on my desk, mm, I ain't gonna be doing this long. I wonder what you're going to feel like when, when I announce my retirement. I see the CEO, the VPs, the directors in the hallway, and I pat them on their back, and I'd be like, oh, so you decided to come to work today, huh? They laugh it off, but in my mind, I was acting like a boss. I was acting like I had more money than they had in their pockets. I was acting like I was running the, the show. They thinking it's a joke. Okay, you can think what you want to think. Nobody don't need to know your thoughts. I let this mind be in me. And I thought it not robbery to be equal with God. And I got up out of there. And I shot them all. <laughs> but most importantly, I got to know myself. And I begin to trust myself and love myself. And I begin to tap on into my superpowers. And you have the same superpower. Don't you look at me like I'm special. Don't you look at me like I'm greater than. That gets you off the hook. That makes you feel better when you say those foolish things. We have all have the ability, the innate ability to tap into source energy. 
Don't you think, oh, she better than me, or she 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 have more more discipline than me, cause I can't let this this state go. I can't let this. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. And we are in this realm to master self. And you should start with your diet. You should start with letting go. If you come from religion, you know this to be true because they talked about sacrificial offerings throughout the text. There's always something that you have to let die. There's a part of you that does have to be dead in order for the new side of you to be resurrected. That's what the Christ conscious one was showing you with that allegory text of being sacrificed in order to be born again. Letting go of the old contract is equivalent to letting go of your old thoughts. The Old Testament was consciousness, your old thoughts, the old way of doing things. But then the new contract or the New Testament came and that's when the Christ conscious one rose from the dead. And that's pretty much the story of everybody's life. We are all the prodigal son going away, thinking we know everything, get, staying in our limited way of thinking in our limited box. But it's all going to be a day when each and every last one of us got to come back on home to the source. And the source is love. The source is power. God haven't given us a spirit of, of fear, but that of love and the power and that sound mind. The source is your sound mind. You're 100% of your brain capacity. You're all knowing. If you ever watch the movie Lucy, that's that's you, baby. You got the crystals fluid. You got the dimethyltryptamine that one day going to activate inside of your head. And you're going to climb up. It's going to climb up Jacob's ladder, equivalent to the, the what do they call it? These, um, the land flowing with milk and honey. This all happens within you when you read it. If you ain't ready, just keep on living because it's, you, you, it's inevitable that you're going to get ready. <laughs> Even if it ain't this lifetime, one lifetime, you're going to decide, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to save myself. I'm ready to be the cursed conscious one. Oh, I'm ready. I done renewed my mind. Everybody got one. Some of them's chaotic. We didn't have trauma. This and that and the third. I do consultations for that if you have trauma. But baby, we got to rinse that heart off and learn how to love again. Even outside of the trauma. Everything ain't always been perfect for me. I've been through hell and back just to be in this position to be able to help my reflections. Don't y'all looking at this, this pretty hair today. Y'all looking at this nice skin today. But there was a moment when this hair was falling out in the middle of my head from perms and relaxers and from a chaotic diet. Yeah, that's why my my sides are shaved because I one day had to shave up all of my head or hair off of my head because it was thinning and out too. I went through hell through that. I went through hell with acne. I went through hell with my gut. I went through hell with the glasses each year getting a new prescription. I went through hell. I've been in the hospitals before, but near death experiences. I've been through hell because all the while I had a calling on my life. I had to become my savior though. I had to become my savior. That's why I sit here and try to encourage you and empower you that you, your savior that you're looking for and everything that you need is within you. But you got to want this thing. And it got to a place where I just really, really, really wanted it. You got to get tired. That's that's equivalent to you daring to do something different when you get tired. I'm talking about dog ass tired. I'm talking about I can't, ain't, ain't, ain't no more. I won't hear the crap no more. I'm tired. And so I got to the place of getting tired and bam. I just walked into my, my new life because I was tired. I was tired of eating foods that was making me sick. I was tired of going to the doctor and then, then they get to the place where they then gave you all these different medications for this and that and the third. So then now you got to be crazy because now the next thing up is they're going to offer you some antidepressants because something got to be wrong with you because they didn't heal you. I was tired. Tired of being a rat, lab rat for them. So I decided to do it my way and save myself. And I saved myself by doing the opposite of the things that I once was doing. Because I was spiraling downward. And I wanted to go up and evolve. So it, it, to me, it felt like it had to be the food. To me, it had to be my limited thinking. I became accountable for me. And I'm encouraging you to become accountable for you in your journey. Because you tired. Stop believing in the foolery. It could all be so simple. Get tired. I love it when people say I'm tired. I'll be like, ooh, she tired, y'all. Ooh, she tired. She go, ooh, the God, the beast about to come out. Because I remember being tired. <laughs> I remember being tired like it was yesterday. Mind over matter, yeah. Yeah. I'll be at the retreat. Yeah, come. Yes, our minds create our reality. Please have the screen share the live. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on now. Divine order. It's easy. 
It's your destiny to be there. Yeah, it is. I know that it is. I feel that it is. I know because I created this thing. And I'm going to help people here at all of my retreats. I'm doing this first one. But this is going to be one of many. Yeah, I know that it is. I, these are the things that I know. I've seen it. I've lived it. I'm just walking to get to it again. <laughs> yeah, last year there was an earthquake in the neighborhood. And everybody came outside at the same time. Oh, really? Wow, interesting. Amen. Hey, Philip. Yeah, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. What is this? Right? Our minds don't know the real or the dope. They don't. They don't. So if you put your mind, have your mind fixed on one thing, it have to. Whatever you want, whether it's something materialistic, um, spiritually, whatever you want, just put your mind on it. You carry that thing with you. This is called the law of assumption. A lot of church folk, folk don't be believing these laws, but a lot of y'all up in here might not believe in the law of gravity because you can't see it either. But that don't mean when you stand up, you're going to be floating. That law of gravity is holding you down. <laughs> The same way the law of assumption works. The same way the law of attraction works. You send out a signal to your subconscious mind through your habitual thinking. Your word cannot come back to you void. So whatever it is that signal is, that thought is, you are emitting that thought out. You send it to your subconscious mind. And that's your program. You got to send a new program. Because the blessings of God are yea and amen. And so the blessings of God is equivalent to picking up on your signal that you are sending out. And so if you if you want to reverence a God, I don't know, maybe your God have a chair. Maybe your God is a man and uh, or sit on a chair, and, uh, you know, on a throne. I don't know what your God is. I don't care about how you look at your God. That's your relationship with your God. But for me... My God is energetic frequency, the most powerful form of energy there is, a frequency of love, and it is doing everything for me based upon my signal that I'm emit into it. My God lives in my human imagination. My God is my land book of life, my subconscious mind. So when I think to my God, I think the thoughts that are good for me, that are that I'll love to receive. Finally, my brethren, those things that are pure, those things that are lovely, those things that are of good report, if they have any virtue in them, Think on these things. So that's the kind of thoughts that I like to give to my God, my subconscious mind, in order to yield good fruit. Yeah. In order to yield and receive good things. It's called the renewing of the mind. As a man think it, so is he. So everybody is getting today what they are wanting today based upon what they are thinking today. And so if you want your tomorrow to be different, you gotta start today and change your door. It's as simple as that. It's simple. Like some people say life ain't fair or they are lucky. No, they're not. No, they're not. They just start another thought. They don't think like you is what's going on there. But you have the power to change you based upon your thoughts. It's just how bad do you want it? Are you tired of thinking those crazy thoughts or not? Because when you get tired, you're going to be like, look, look, this lady said, this lady said, this, this little curly haired lady, she was, she was hitting them coconuts. And she told me, if I change my thought, I'm going to try this stuff because I ain't got no money. But, but you know what? I'm going to change my thoughts. I'm going to listen to these affirmations that she, she posted on her YouTube. And then when, when I'm not drifting asleep and listen to them affirmations throughout the day, I'm going to feel abundant. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to carry it with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like a child because they say you can't come to God unless you're a child. I'm going to be like a child and I'm going to use my human imagination. And I'm going to ask myself, why am I thinking these crazy thoughts in order to stop thinking those crazy thoughts? And then when I'm not thinking the crazy thoughts, I'm just going to have fun because love and joy is high frequency and having fun using my human imagination is key to getting me everything that I want. You mean I was my own stumbling block? Yeah. <laughs> you mean life happens through me, not to me? Yeah. This is what I'm trying to teach you all. <laughs> Y'all done got me excited. I done got excited and I was trying to wrap up up in here. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, big facts. Yeah, reflection. I'm having such a hard time with this concept. I'm learning this concept. I'm figuring this thing out. I'm closer to this mindfulness than, than I used to be. I have now one of my reflections, God has just be that's helping me along my journey. I'm transforming my mind. I'm renewing it right now. I'm stronger now. 
Yes, you are. Yes, you are gifted. Gifted vocals. Yes, you are. Transformation. Teach. Hey, Ladybug. Teach. Yeah. Stop saying you're having a hard time. Thank you. Thank you for that. What kind of work were you doing before? Oh, I was working. I worked for a utility company called in Energy. Energy Services Incorporated in New Orleans, Louisiana. That's a power company in New Orleans. And I was a senior transmission engineer. So I, I worked there for 22 years and just recently retired uh, last year. Last year, I think I announced my retirement in June-ish, june or July. Yeah, late June, yeah, late June last year. So yeah, yes, yes, yes. I've realized that I have done it and lived it so long, the thoughts happen without me even being, yeah, you got to be conscious of, that's what being conscious is all about. People think it's, oh, black power, and oh, it's about your food that you're eating. Being conscious, it's being conscious of the I am and what the I am is thinking. Being conscious is your ability to focus and use your human imagination. That's what consciousness is all about. Conscious of the thoughts, the I am. I am that I am. I am the wellness. I am the holistic healer. I am the TikToker. I am the creator. I am whatever it is that you want to be. I am healed. I am whatever is being conscious of the I am in you. Because you are all. You are no thing, but yet you are everything at the same time. And this is how you can manipulate energy and be what it is that you want at any given moment through thought. <laughs> And you, and you use your senses, your five senses, while you imagine this thing. You imagine while you taste, you imagine you're tasting, you imagine you're hearing while you're in this zone. You imagine you see these things, you, you're feeling these things. You use your senses and make it juicy in your human imagination to draw the things to you. Yeah. Being conscious of it. Yeah, you're right. You are so right. I so want to change. You are changing. You are changing thought by thought. 33, yeah, I'll be 60 this year, and I'm tired. I'm so happy you're tired. I'm so happy you're tired. You can change. Stop speaking negativity. That's so true. Amen. Definitely had to um, pop in for a bit. I live more because of your truth, goddess. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Frederick. Thank you. Absolutely. I really needed this. Yeah. Facts. And a certain extent. Oh, we all have been through something. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We all have been through something. And so you just get tired of going through the same though thing because you realize that, wait, the, the situation is the same. I'm just getting different characters. How is that? If you start peeping your life, if you're the type of person that moved here, moved there, and you got the same kind of messy neighbors, you're the type of person that moved from this job and this job, and they don't want to give you no money, you got to realize you're the common denominator, so you have something that's a stumbling block within you. Stop changing the characters in your, in your game of life. Change you. <laughs> you're the operant power if you change the signal that you're sending out then guess what that play that stage play will be no more and then you will elevate to a new stage play you gotta should be ready to change you but that's when people get off the, box, the um, bus because I've seen it in religion when you tell them church folk it's time to change and do something different they leave the church first and those same type of people are in spirituality too you tell them they, that, that life is happening through them. They don't want to be accountable for that. Yeah, because we so used to Jesus coming to fix it. We so used to saying, okay, that's the devil. The devil made me do it. That wasn't me. But I saw you. That was you. Quit, quit shaming yourself at your lower self. You did that. Accept the totality of God. Accept that you are both good and evil. That you are both your savior and your stumbling block. Accept it. Be accountable. When you could become accountable for that, then you'll be like, oh, my thoughts got me here. So it's easy. I was a master manifester when I was creating with those negative thoughts. I'm still a master manifester. All I got to do is change the thought to something more powerful. Be accountable. Ain't no more, when I was a child, I spoke like a child, I behaved like a child, I thought like a child, but when I became, I put away them childish things, stop blaming everything on the devil, that's you, that's your lower self, come on now, you all that exists, come on now, come on now, <laughs> yeah, I hear you guys speaking to me, I'm tired, I'm tired, 
I'm tired of being broken, broken, and I'm tired too. There you go. Everybody's saying, I've been tired. It's time for the change. It's time for the change. The change to help you. The um, transformation to help you with that change, with mindfulness based upon physical and spiritual. Your, your lifestyle changes, small changes in your diet will help you because that's equivalent to loving yourself. The, uh, another change will be listening to those affirmations, the I am affirmations that are left for you and those things are for free. The change, the change of being stingy and looking for free pass outs. Be the change in that area for yourself too because sometimes you have to invest in your yourself. I give information out for free all the time and I understand that I attract a bunch of free loaders but you got to get to a place in your life where you no longer just take and take and take in God because you are both the giver of life and and the God that take it away. So you got to embark on both sides of yourself to experience the totality of yourself. You got to learn how to give to God. You got to. You got to. I, I'm telling you this because I know this to be true because at my lower self, I used to be a taker. I used to be sitting up there, one of the 60 up there that never would tap the screen, never would leave a comment, never. I would just sit there and just try to take because I needed to be received because I felt like my cup was on E. But even when your cup is on E and somebody is pouring into you, you got to learn how to put your finger on the screen and at least give the person a like. You got to, if you don't know the choice words to say, you got to put an emoji, a heart or something in the comment to give back to the people. I ain't asking you for no money. I'm a master manifester. I create my own reality. You, this TikTok thing don't bring me money like you all think. I got my own money. <laughs> I retired myself outside of the TikTok. Matter of fact, I was on a break when I retired myself. You got to learn how to give back to people because life is happening through you. And if you're stingy and chaotic and selfish with your ways, all of your reflection is going to yield back to you. That what you are emitting and you're going to find some selfish people out there and you're going to wonder why everybody's so selfish. Why I can't trust nobody. It's because life happens through you, God, not to you. Stop being selfish reflection. And I'm telling you that on the strength of you being my reflection and I used to be selfish just like you you gotta change your ways you gotta change it you gotta change it you ain't gotta give to me baby give to somebody though you gotta change that because we could be some selfish people stop it life happens through you not to you yeah yeah inner voice yeah always trust your inner voice always trust yeah i'm so glad i found your life i'm so happy you're here too band yeah my ladybug love you back babe love you back come on now come on now you're awesome you got it going on oh thank you babe you got it going on too who that is fireman you too your words are life to me yeah hey granny I'm interested in you. I'm interest in, interested in me more. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. No matter where you go, there you are. Yes. You can't run away from you. You go meet you in them relationships. That's probably why a lot of people in physical reality on TikTok always having problems with relationships because you meeting you. You meeting you. All of you out there that run into all of the narcs, let me tell you a secret. You meeting you. You meeting your signal. You have to meet the narc. You know why? Let me let me help you out with that. If any any of y'all up in here, you know why you have to meet the narc? Because your signal that's going into your subconscious mind is saying, I ain't worthy. And so you attract narcs based upon your signal that you are emitting. I don't deserve it. And there go the narc. They, 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 they. they they look for people like that. That's, that's their next duck. The one that don't feel worthy. So the narc is like, hey, come on over here. Come on over here. I'm going to treat you good in the beginning. But then I'm going to show you you. I'm going to remind you that you don't feel worthy. So I'm going to dog you out just a little later. <laughs> and because you don't love yourself and know yourself, you didn't pick up on a signal of yourself that you was just running into you again. <laughs> until you say good men don't exist all oh, men aren't s-h-i-t well if that's the case guess what you sent out that signal so guess what that say about you change the signal that you're emitting that's when your life changes 
whether we're talking about relationships, whether we're talking about health and wellness, whatever we're talking about, it's going to bring you back to you because you are all that exists in your assimilated environment. It's you. Yeah, the alchemist oil is a blessing. Yes, it is. It really detoxes. I've been getting so many. Y'all got to leave reviews. I've been getting so many messages how, you know, their tonsils are clearing out, how they had like inner ear infections and it's draining and they can feel it. Leave reviews on the side, please, y'all, for other people. I know it worked. I know it worked. But leave a review for the reflections to help them out. Because seemingly sometimes, you know, people got to hear from other people, you know, that it's work, that it's working. So if you don't mind, leave a um, review for me. Uh, Z Yolo one. I appreciate you so much, baby. You're the best. You too, 66, right? 30k likes. Oh, I'm at 30k. Yeah, gifted. Fair exchange. No robbery. No robbery. Just bless people along your journey. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nobody trying to take and empty your cup, but give. Just a little bit along your way. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. I'm happy you're be listening. Yes. Yes, good Ruth. I love that quote. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm being filled right now. Yeah, gifted vocals. Nice, pretty ring. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, as well. All right, why you bring me to tears when you get deep on these lives? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, because you're picking up on my frequency that I finally am speaking from a clog once upon a time through chakra and now since my throat chakra is not clogged that's that was my gift i was sitting on and so when i open up my mouth it's attuned to a healing frequency and that's what you're experiencing my love in my life and i'm happy that it's able to touch you and help you to cry because crying is aching to rinsing off that heart and learning how to love again the alchemist oil is good for ear infection not I'm not saying that it was created for ear infection, but what it does, when you put it in your mouth, you want to dilute it with coconut oil, right? And so being that you dilute it because it burns, it's really, really powerful if you don't dilute it. So dilute it with a carrier oil, such as coconut oil. So you got coconut oil and five drops of alchemist oil in your mouth. And while you're swishing for five minutes, it's pulling parasites. It's pulling things outside of your lymphatic system, pulling it forward, cleaning out your tonsils in your head and your chest area right oil pulling is a healer in itself but being that you're adding the alchemist oil to it not only are you healing with coconut oil but now you have three herbs coconut oil the um clove and the oregano working to get rid of parasites to get rid of inflammation to clean out your tonsils to clean out the sinuses to clean and draw out mucus and fungus and parasites all together for five minutes and so after you squish with it you spit it out in a toilet or in a bag you don't want to put it in your drain because coconut oil solidifies again especially if it's cool right you don't want to clog up your drains you spit it out and immediately upon spitting it out now you have this mucus that's loosened up each day you're loosening up so if you have an inner ear infection if you have vertigo if you have sinus all of that's going to start to drain and every morning while you repeating it you're getting a deeper level of mucus and stuff outside of your system and calling it forward because you're oil pulling you're pulling you're telling it energetically to come forward i want you out and so that's kind of the concept of how it works Dennis don't want you to know about this because not only do it heal your gums and gingivitis, it'll reverse cavities, you know, it'll strengthen your teeth, it'll freshen your breath, things like that. And it'll save you from having to go get your tonsils pulled out if you still have your tonsils or know somebody with their tonsils that's having issues because their tonsils are sweating up. Let them know, baby, if you don't get the alchemist oil and the coconut oil and start oil pulling you ain't doing yourself no justice don't go pulling out your tonsils because your tonsils are there for if your body is toxic that it's supposed to grab on or it's supposed to grab a hold to the toxicity and drain it through your lymphatic system to expel it via your kidneys right but if you take them out you ain't gonna get that signal no more It'll, it'll be hard for all of that toxicity to come out because now it got to go to other pathways to come out. And so this is why you'll find people that once they remove their tonsils, now they, now they can't even smell no more. 
You know, now they're having problems with taste buds and stuff. Now they're having um, sinus problems in their head because the tonsils was supposed to be an indicator to say, I got it. I got the tonsils. See, this is this is part of you knowing yourself. I, I mean, I got the toxin. This is part of you knowing yourself. I got it. I caught it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweat it up. So being at a school, you as the host know that I caught something. And so now I'm going to need you to get the right herb the AKA coconut oil, the, the, the organic uh, oregano and clove oil. I want to help you. I want you to help me get this down to your kidneys. So I want to help. I want you to help me flow your lymphatic system. And the way you helping me is because you giving me this oil pulling process that's allowing me to lubricate that part of me so I can expel it all the way to the adrenal glands, all the way down. All these acids got to get out of here through your kidneys. And so you helping me save you. That's the whole internal relationship that's supposed to go on here. But a lot of people are not in tune to themselves like that. They don't know themselves on a health journey like that. They don't understand that the lymphatic system is a backup for the blood system. They don't know that. You know, they, they think, oh, I only live once and you know, Ooh, that hurt back there. I don't know what that is back there. And I don't know what to do about that. So I'm going to go to this man outside of me and let him tell me what to do. But he's going to tell me what to do to keep me coming back to him to help him do what he needs to do. But if you know yourself, you will know these things, what you need to do to save your life, to heal yourself from sickness and disease. Because you've been inside of yourself. You sat with yourself. You did research and you studied to show self-approve with self. You rightly divide the word that was true for you within your body, your God self body, your avatar body that you came to experience and pay and play this game of life with. You got to respect it. You got to appreciate it. You see, <laughs> I'm going to bring you back to you. And I suggest if you follow other people and they ain't leading you back to you, you quit listening to them people because it all starts with you. All right, I done started preaching, and I didn't. I came on here to. I came on here. Let me tell you, if y'all was, if you still here in the beginning, all I came on here to do <laughs> was to cut open some coconut, fill it up. I think the title still say "Chat while opening up coconuts" or something. That's all I came here for. <laughs> This my passion. Boy, boy, boy. This my passion. I'm looking at these, these, these comments one more time and I'm going to get my butt up out of here. Why are you bringing me to tears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicole, life happens through you, not to you. Remember that. Remember that. So vertigo is caused by mucus. Yeah, yeah, baby. Just like endometriosis, is mucus down here. Just like bronchitis issues, mucus right here. Irritable bowel syndrome, mucus right here. Mucus, mucus. And what secretes mucus? Most often than not, there's some parasites. Yeah, because they lay eggs and larvae and stuff. So you, you got to cleanse out your body. Yeah. Why could doctors remove? Why would they? Well, they look at health and wellness from um, <laughs> and our organs differently. You know, they, they think that, oh, you don't, you don't need this. It's not useful because they don't study the lymphatic system. You go there, they want to do your blood work, but your blood is contingent, is um is based upon how well that lymphatic system is pumping. Doctors, they, they don't they don't they don't study no lymphatic system. Mm -mm. They study that blood though. And so they'll think tonsils, which is part of the lymphatic system, is not necessary. That's what they'll say. Oh, you don't need this. Wait, my phone dying. I said there we go. Yeah, so you you don't need this here right here. This thing, these little hingy things, that's part of your lymphatic system. What is that for? They don't study health like that. That's why they do blood work. But if they, they should be somewhere where you could go and get 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 assessed on if your lymphatic system has a whole bunch of acids. <laughs> is it if it's secreting like it should? Right? <laughs> Yeah, but everybody different. You're right, sis. Yeah, yes, exactly. I just love your voice. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Oh, I can see. 
us together getting off <laughs> yeah for real all the time right all the time where do i leave the review you click back on the website buy and go back to that product the alchemist oil and there's a tab right underneath that says reviews and then you write the review in star rated do an honest review based upon how you feel i don't want to coerce any you know any type of reviews but do an honest one I never had sinus issues until the doctor took my tonsils out. There you go. There you go. Because you needed them. You needed them. So a person like you that don't have no tonsils, you need to all pull. Because now you, your body is trying to find another route to get stuff out. And so now that that help you clear mucus out. Because your tonsils, that, that was part of bringing things down here. Down here to flush down. To flush down. To be expelled downward. So it could lead to the kidneys. To get that mucus, because that's where the acids and stuff go. The mucus and the acids and stuff that go to the kidneys to be expelled out that way. But if, if you're taking part of, of this and that and the dirt, now you, your body got to come up with another route. And so now you, 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 yours is probably flow best coming out your nose now, because this here area, it can't go down, because you ain't got that right there. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this video was from my heart to yours. I don't probably stayed on here longer than an hour, I'm sure. But I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go. Check out my website. Make sure you leave a review if you purchase any item. Check out my transformation goals. And remember, your God in physical form creating your reality. Thought by thought by thought by thought. You thinking it up. Change your thought if you don't like it. Okay, bye.